Velveteen Dream. Greetings and salutations, guys, gals, and savage transvestites. <laughs> I'm back with Tuffy Talk Shaming Episode 8, Part 2. Oh, where, where am I at Tuffy's? I'm wearing the old uni unicorn shirt. Ah, it's in my mouth! I'm wearing the old unicorn shirt, so I thought I'd sport the old unicorn thing. Anyone who wants to sit on my head, you better think twice. Unless you're into that kind of stuff. Do you need money? <laughs> okay, welcome back. Tuffy Talk Shave. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you. I love you, all of you. And I would love to be body passed around by tens of thousands of you. Think about it. Me surfing all your bodies. And oh, I, I didn't want to be with all my Wawa Posa tough guy fanatics. But without further ado, let's get into the meat and potatoes of this video. Okay, okay. So when you see a wholesome man with titties like Mama June, it's not okay to yell Shamu and aim your harpoon gun at him. You are fat shaming him. Yeah. And, and if you are getting chased by a massive woman in one of those little obese elderly mobiles, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Um, Yes, it is not okay to throw hamburgers or cheeseburgers to get her off your track. Yeah, that's that's not okay. You need to stay calm and let her eat part of you. Yeah, you know, let her eat a part that's not important. Uh, may I suggest maybe part of the ear or maybe even your thigh. Uh, if you don't, let her take a nibble out of you. Yeah, surprise. You're fat shaming. Also, if you are getting hunted by Siamese twins that are pushing a ton, you need to... Wait, what? Oh. <laughs> I knew that. This is Tuffy Talks Gaming, not Tuffy Talks Fat Shaming. Don't! I apologize. I thought this is my other channel, guys. Wow, what Tosa, I have a vagina guy. Back to gaming, you son of a bitch! <laughs> that is right, son. I am channeling the Snoop Doggy Dogs. Okay, Bloods and Crips. Before I get started on part two episode, I want to show you a little son, son. I picked this ditty up yesterday. I know I said I did. But I just wanted to show you, I'm not all talk. It's called Dragon Quest Eleven, and uh, I'm not a Nostradamus motherfucker, but I'm predicting it's going to be the JRPG of the year. And we all know how Ni no Kunai 2 took it, okay? All right, now back to Tuffy Tosking. Hope the missus doesn't see that one. Uh, for people that... It's their first time. This will be me going through all the September game releases that uh, will be coming out and the ones I'll be getting. My first video was a few days ago, I, and this video will be covering everything from September 18th till the end of the month. So, let's get started, you poopy pants, my fucks. September 20th, we have three games being delivered from the retail womb. First one is the visual novel Steins Gate 8-bit, and it's two vari variations. Uh, that is coming for the PS4, PS Vita, and Switchy Pooey Cakes. And surprise, surprise, this is an anime. I mean, with a name like that, I think it was pretty doggone obvious. Uh, but this anime... This visual novel has like a scientific swing to it. So I guess in this game you'll be a high school math teacher. Silly math! Oh, oh geez, oh, we need to bring it out a notch. Second game is the action RPG Cross Code. 
Or is that cross dresser? Oh, nope, it's cross code. Uh, that game is releasing for the P to the C. Uh, this game looks like something that would have came out for the Super Nintendo in the early to mid 90s, which could be a good thing or a bad thing, depending on how you, re you view RPGs. Me personally, I think RPGs age very well uh, compared to other genres. Okay. Last game, El Drapino, on the 20th, though. Star Control's Origins! Oh! An origin story! I love these origin stories! We get to know how, they're, how they were made and how their creed was born. Needle Cakes! Uh, this is a PC strategy game. All right, September 21st, we have three Switch Mix Switch titles. Uh, the first one is the Banner Saga Trilogy, really? which is all three Banner Saga games in one big fat title. And uh, if you don't work on, you know, your biceps and your triceps, you might not want to get that game because that's going to be heavy with content. Okay, next game is Broken Sword 5. The Serpent's Curse. Oh, I don't want to be cursed by a serpent. Uh, that is a point-and-click adventure title that I never heard of. But I do hope they fix their broken sword. That's a rebob. Okay. Final game coming out on the 21st, or should I say DLC, is the Torah DLC for Xenoblade Chronicles 2. So a lot of people like Xenoblade Chronicles 2. But I just couldn't get into it. No, 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 no. Uh, I put in a good 20 hours, but it just bored the pee out of me. Also, I thought Tora, you know, the, the NPC the game's obviously built after, was incredibly annoying and lame. So, uh, you know, I wouldn't touch this game <laughs> with Boloid Dick. Uh, you know what? Fuck this shit, cause I'm gonna tell you what this shit and fucking shit. Fix the motherfucker, or I will fucking come, and I will find you, you fucking redheaded motherfucker. Don't you dare humiliate me. And See what would happen if I tried? Yikes! September 25th, we have five games, five games, five games, five games. Two of which are RPGs. The first one is Metal Max Xeno, uh, which is coming out for the PS4. This game came out in Japan in April too. Good, but not great reviews. Uh, the other RPG is Fat Pathfinder Kingmaker, which is coming out for the PC. And this is a game I will be keeping my stunning blue eyes on because it is a Kickstarter title. And these type of RPGs have amazing track marks. Oh, 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 oh. I mean track record. Me, <laughs> silly me. Uh, when I say these type of RPGs, I mean Kickstarter titles. Because uh, games like Pillars of Eternity, Divinity Original Sin, and Wasteland were first degree litidocious. And this game reminds me of those, specifically Pillars of Eternity. So this game might be a sleeper hit. Third game coming out on the 25th. It is Punchline coming for the PC, PS4, and PS Vita cakes. And for those of you that hope this would be the sequel to Mike Tyson Punch Out. Left foot, let's jump. Six hops this time. Right foot, let's jump. Left foot, let's jump. Right foot, two stumps. Left foot, two stumps. No, 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 no! Yeah, it's an anime visual novel. game is the second episode of Telltale's final season of Walking Dead. It's called Suffer the Children. Oh my, you guys! Let's go, let's go. Why do the tiger doodles have to suffer like that? Someone's a meanie! Oh. And the last game coming out on the 25th is Valkyrie Chronicles 4. 
which I will be buying the collector's edition and doing an unboxing for that. I have not decided if I will do this unboxing naked it or with clothes on. <laughs> we know what everyone in the peanut gallery wants. Oh, oh, oh. and uh, by the way, Valkyrie Chronicles is an amazing tactical role-playing game that mixes a lot of other genres as well. This is the first console release in over a decade. So I'm as hyped as a, as a hype person. I know. September 27th, we have four, count them, four both fun games to grace our presence that day. First one is a game I won't even try to pronounce, so I will let my telepathy do the heavy lifting. Oh yeah. Yes sir, Bob, that is a tongue twister, people. <laughs> Harvey from TMZ laughed. This game is a visual novel coming for the Switch. Next, we have Super Natania RPG, which is a Japanese role-playing game coming out for the Switch and PS4. I have not seen much of this game, so it's tough for me to get impressed without a visual handjob for Pete's sake. Third game is The World Ends With You. Final O. Oh. Time for DJ Tuffy Tuff on the, the scene. This game is the world ends with you. Final remix song. You know how DJ Tuffy Tuff do it. Everyone ready? Why are you doing this? Whatever I say, y'all gotta do. Whatever I say, y'all gotta do. Oh man, DJ Tuffy Tuff brings the fucking heat. The World Ends With You is a port slash remake of 2007. Whoa, that was so long ago. That was like 35 years ago. Of the action role-playing game from the 3DS. This game reviewed quite well. Many people thought it was a hoo. And the last game on the 27th is the first episode of Life is Strange 2. Now, I have not been following this game. What? What? If you don't, don't like it, up. sue me, jerk! So, you know, since I have not been following, I don't even know if Max is going to be the main lesbian or it's going to be someone new. I don't even know if the melancholy one, Chloe, will be throwing her witty zingers at her stepfather. You know, the one with the epic mustache. I gotta say, I'm a bit jealous of that fella. And the final day for game release is in September, at least right now. We know there will be more, but it's what's written down right now is the 20th final day. Uh, on that day, we will see the Dragon Ball Fighter Z get its Switchy Switch release. So if you ever wanted to go Super Saiyan, you can now do it on the Switch. Stay back! Stay back! I don't want none of Goku. He makes my blood pressure rise, okay? And the final game, which I predict will be one of the best-selling titles of the year. What? I'm wearing my Nostradamus cap, a.k.a. anal penetrator. <laughs> what is that best-selling game I'm predicting? FIFA 19. Okay, so what is FIFA? Meaning you probably never heard of it. Uh, in that game, you kick the ball hard into a rope thing guarded by a prison guard who has touchy-feely Harvey Weinstein hands. So they make him wear gloves and no one else does, okay? Uh, this FIFA 19 game is coming out for everything. And when I say everything, I even mean the PS3 and Xbox 360. Say what, motherfucker? Those games came out like 60 or 70 years ago, or those titles did, those consoles did, jeez Louise. This is insane in the membrane! Surprise, motherfucker. Okie dokie, guys, gals, and transvestite. That is all the releases as of September 5th. These are all games with confirmed September releases. Uh, if it's like last month, a bunch of games will get release dates a few days out. But as of now, these are the confirmed dates. You know, I'm actually more excited for the September games compared to October or November, which is probably the first in about a decade for me. Usually, uh, 
October and November is the big month in September. It's just kind of the <laughs> sexy warm-up. The foreplay, if you will. <laughs> okay, so here are the games Ja Boy, the Tuffasaurus Rex, is 100% getting. Obviously, I already have Draggy Quest 11. Mwah! I will also be getting Spider-Man, which is killing it in the reviews so far, sitting at 87 on Metacritic with 84 reviews. You know, that totally surprised me. I thought the game would probably get around an 80 or an 81. I didn't think it would go over 84 max. So it being an 87, almost 88, it surprised the willy-nillies out of me. Shadow of the Tomb Raider and the Collector's Edition of Valkyrie Chronicles 4 with all the neato goodies will also be in my esteemed presence this month. And finally, I will be getting Life is Strange Season 2 and the second episode of Telltale's Walking Dead. Heck yeah! I'm fist pumping! We yeah. are fist pumping! Yeah, yeah, yeah. You keep telling me to go! Okay. Okay, so those are the six games I am giving, getting without a doubt. Uh, the World Ends With You Remix! And the Pathfinder Kingsmaker are maybes. Kingsmaker is a lot more likely since I have not even got to Octopath Traveler. Plus I have a bunch of indies, so who knows when I would actually get to The World Ends With You. So, you know, I'd say the Kingsmaker depends on reviews, but that's maybe like a 60 or 70 percent. World Ends With You is probably like 35, maybe 30. So there you have it, you new, new head. Oh, I'm just kidding. That was me. I went a little too far, but you know, I pushed the envelope. Uh, I showed, I told you about all the games coming out and what I plan to get and what I might get. And just so you all know, I know I said it, you know, a couple minutes ago. This is an absolutely stacked September. Very uncommon. Maybe they are doing it early because they want to stay away from Red Dead Redemption 2 which will be the best-selling game of the year, easy. But I couldn't tell you, 100% oh. So now I want to hear what all of you fine people of the world shall be getting. And uh, if you're actually getting any games that I'm not getting, <laughs> so I can laugh at your bad taste in games. <laughs> Harvey, Harvey from TMZ left. <laughs> oh, boy. This is a lot of fun. We're playing reindeer games with each other. I hope everyone is a happy camper just like me. And, and that... Oh, fiddle diddle. I don't have to go. I didn't tell you all. Uh, this is really big news. I will be starring in a movie. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I will be playing a cigarette butt that Charlie Theron smoked. <laughs> Here is an early pick of me! Oh! Wow! This is my big break, y'all! My big break! I was told by an English bloke that I played a fag better than anyone he had ever laid his eyes on. <laughs> Move over the Donald, I will be taking your Hollywood star. I would like a Bollywood star as well. I always wanted to, to appeal to the one billion Indians in India. Oh, oh, hey, 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 you guys, but hey, don't think I'd leave you all with blue balls and blue vagina and for my hermaphrodite subbies, blue balls and vagina connected, okay? XOXO, Gossip Tuffy. I had to get us my ace steel reserve this morning. I'm blacked out. Out! Someone glued my butt to the ground! Ah! Holy didn't make that sound of my mouth. Ah! Fart! Yo, Hogan's, let's go! Come on, bro! Yo, Nick, move it! <laughs> Linda, let's do this thing. Oh, my gosh, you're going to be great. Oh, no. Ah, there is Hulk. Ah. Where is everybody? Ho, 
Logan knows best. Where is she answering? And who am I? That's not a secret I'll never tell. You know you love me. Except 